know what? Forget about steroid. Forget about Andran. And forget about the droves and droves and droves of naked people in this colony. Today we focus on the most important person of all. You are home watching. Nah, I'm just kidding. You can fuck off. Everybody's favorite perfectly normal Jer Egyptian citizen, Tecmate. The very regular, very fleshy man. And a hello to you too, you fleshy little rim rim. And I suppose Mark Zuckerberg, because everybody knows he loves this, and he's a creepy little robot prick. Today on Rim Rim, we're going to focus on our oldest and wisest and strongest colonist, Tech Mate, who has kind of fallen by the wayside in these past few generations. Went from being one of the founding members of the colonies, Jerry's right-hand man, to a building robot to just a building bot, and that, that seems really disrespectful to the poor guy. You wouldn't even have this city if it wasn't for Tetmate saving Jerry on countless occasions, so you know what? We're paying it forward. Now, during yesterday's episode, I realized that Raptor Mother was a, uh, purely randomly became a chronomancer. The problem with that, of course, is that our characters age significantly faster than the regular colonists. She's already 85 years of age, so there's not really much we can do with a chronopath who, uh, when they meditate, will age rapidly. She will just turn to dust. I think first things first, we'll finish off the... Uh, we'll finish off the skip master tree for the guy. Because some of this is proving quite useful. We already know how useful wall raise is. Pretty fast. And what is this one? Skip door. Creates an opening to a network of skip gates which can be placed in any location with a permanent presence. Could we just open a skip gate from one end of town to the other? That would save a lot of time. So if we were to place one, say, right here... Or, say, I don't know, in front of the uh, pyramids, which I did decorate slightly. I'll talk more about that in a minute, I suppose. Just got a little little robot fella to trip down a skip gate right in front of the... Oh, hello there. And then a baby is born? <laughs> oh, she's just terrible. Holy crap. This is steroid, pharaoh steroid, and Sideshow's little baby. Shooting 10, melee 9, double passion. Well, that's fairly impressive for baby. Staggeringly ugly, hates men, slowpoke. Oh no, the baby fell in the river and it floated away, never to be seen again. Okay, fine, we'll rescue the... We'll rescue the damn baby, even though it's a... It's a shitty, shitty baby. Good lord. Anyway, like I was about to say, the second the heat drops down and the side focus is back up, we'll try building another skip gate. If, if that works, then it just allows him to... Uh, Naturally path to other points on the map via these portals. That could be incredible. But today's gonna be all about Tetmate, like I said. I feel like Tetmate finally deserves some better armor, given that he's... Well, I mean, obviously, we've repaired the Cataphract, which is fantastic, but a regular Guardian helmet seems a bit weak. If you are wondering why it will occasionally just... Oh. <laughs> if you are wondering why it will occasionally just focus on random shit, that's because the game is so uh, slow at this stage that as they pan the camera around, it can stutter and then the camera will just fly off into wide different direction. It's never intentional. Someone left a comment asking why I was focusing on the on the dirt and randomly panning around in combat. No, it's not. It's not my fault. We need some sort of Eltex headgear. So we can make the Eltex mask, but we can't make the Eltex cape because it's the same layer as Tetmate's armor, and that would... I mean, that, that Cataphract armor is what made Tetmate Tetmate. So we don't have the crocodile face anymore, but we'll make him another one one day. When eventually we get there, we'll, we'll, we'll make him another. There's absolutely no other side casting gear at all, unless we want to make him an Eltex weapon. He's had that charge Kopesh since the start. We could put it on display in the throne room. I don't think that'd be so weird. And then hang on. Right, okay, here's, here's a gamble. We're going to use steroid to inspire Brody. Hope we get inspired creativity again. I doubt it, but there aren't that many inspirations, right? It's not an insignificant chance. Then we try and get a legendary sword for Tetmate so that Tetmate can do things more usefully with the side powers. Because right now, I mean, casting a single skip gate and then being overwhelmed with it not really dropping at all. It's not that useful. 93 seconds until zero. Wait, it's not falling at all, though. It's because you're still over overloaded with the neural heat. I'm not entirely sure. Inspired creativity. No pressure. Inspired research. You prick. Oh, man, jerk! Don't do this. No, we need you We need you for, for your chefery. Uh, who's a good doctor these days? Rudy, Rudy, get in there. Tend to jerk. <laughs> feel like I'm mocking a man on his deathbed. Oh. Well, shit, that was, um... That was impressive. This colony is falling apart. We need these old people to die bloody fast. Brody is 95 years of age. 95. Good God. Uh, maybe you are blessed by the gods, I suppose. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to see that. Glasses, how are you doing? 74. Wow. Wait, 74? Really? Another side level for Tetmate who hasn't dropped below that heat limit yet. What is this one? 
Fast skip. Skip the caster along with everyone standing near them to a willing ally at a distant location. Um. Is that useful? Probably not so much, because we, when we've got the, the ridiculous quad room that the Pharaoh has, it does make it a lot easier to get around, right? Now, somebody said that if you upgrade, say, artistic and wealth in tandem, those together can give you an increased, uh, say you're, you're meditating or something that has a very, very high value, but is also art. Those combined can apparently have you gain experience a lot faster. Whether or not that's true or just more comment section bullshit, or I guess we'll find out. God, again? Is this raid gonna be as pathetic as yesterday? I certainly hope not. 24 there. Another 20 there. They're still injured from yesterday, too. Only 60 again. I'm kind of surprised, given that the colony wealth has gone up even more. But never mind. Uh, Tetmate is out for the count. Tetmate is down from all that skip gate making. I mean, it's kind of impressive. Looks as if they're not pissing around this time, though, running back and forth. They're going right for the entrance, as God intended. I, I know I said it was Tet Matei's out. Are you going to be all right there, Tet Matei, just on the floor for a little while? You're going to be fine, because we're just going to leave you there. Well, the front gate's still open. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, fair enough. It was, it was me that opened it. It wasn't me that opened it in some sort of mad desperation. Uh, who is naked slash unarmed? Because you people can piss off to the hospital and go and hide. Uh, especially you. Uh, leave the, the leave the tiny baby. Black magic, get out of here. Um, shit. Right, okay, here's the plan. I'm going to go through everybody fast, and I'm going to make sure everybody is also casting their psi powers. Because uh, I think we're probably going to need it at this stage, to be honest with you. Yeah, just, just go butt wild. Have, you, have they all got... Oh, they've all got shitloads of side focus. I haven't got much heat. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Have the, the civilians... Uh, the, the civilians, though. The regular citizens focus on one tree. Get that fully upgraded as fast as possible. Then dump all the points into their heat limit. Actually try and make them a bit more effective. We don't need to do what Wes did and sit them in a... Sit them in a room reading about how to kill people all day. And instead we can just have their side powers do it for us. Okay, I'm gonna regret this button, aren't I? Alright, go on. Auto cast fireballs. Impress me. Oh, Christ. Okay. No! Oh! Good shot, good shot. Oh, great shot. Oh, they are piling in. Uh, can we shut that door? I thought the camera is driving me nuts. We're on a desk. Turn around and go shut the door. We'll let one group in. No, 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 no. Ignore them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, line up and just shoot them. They're all running past. You could just, you could just. Well, that's impressive. Um, Jesus, that's really something you've got there. You come shut the gate, and then we'll fight them. Yeah, shut the gate, shut the gate, shut the gate, shut the gate, shut the gate. And then they'll go around through the regular kill box. So if we can just deal with these last few, Timo. Uh, it's Timo the dragon. Uh, let's just send somebody to go deal with the last few. Glasses, this is on you, my friend. Everybody else will say get to defensive positions. Oh, I put him up against like six people. Oh, they're in the hospital. No, 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 no. Kill the you, you lot. Wail on him. <laughs> wow. My front gate! You shits. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Stop with your frosty breath. Thank you. Uh, no, 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 no. Stop that. I, you, I... <laughs> this is a nightmare. I think we might need a stronger front gate. I'm getting that impression. Because they have just smashed right through. It didn't matter if we shut or not, sweet sea. You're right. Hypothermia is serious. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, steroid. I feel like you're getting a little bit too... Oh! Yeah, auto-casting side powers really isn't going to end badly. Come on, if we could just deal with this last group. There you go, there you go, there you go. Deal with the last group. Reconvene. Go over here. Let's have the people put the fire out. Oh, I mean, it's just decorative grass. We don't have to worry. Keep the hospital doors locked. Sod it. We're doing fine. We're doing, we're doing pretty all right. Once again, it's friendly fire that's really, really doing us in more than anything else. We've got a little time to try and arrange people... <laughs> sensibly. Sensibly for once, rather than just line up and bash them. Let's put you on that side, and then let's get all of our... Let's put, like, th four of you over there. That seems fine. That seems pretty good. And then let's take four of you over here and go like that. That way they're not immediately in line with the entrance. So they're not going to get shot. Okay. Okay. Let's close the gap a little bit. Everybody's going to be fine. Don't worry. This is textbook stuff. Tags book stuff. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, what can you do, if anything? You can bash him with your magic rod. Bash. Holy 
shit! Oh my god! <laughs> At this point, I'm gonna say search and destroy because they just ran past us as if we weren't fucking there. And they're fleeing! Oh my god, I, I mean, our people are good. When they're good, they're good. If you ignore the fact steroid almost killed everybody again, that's not bad. That's not bad. Black magic is, is fine. You're fine as well. So the only people that we've really got to worry about, like Sweetie, that's from the incredible amounts of hypothermia. I just don't understand how she got hypothermia, huh? Steroid. How did that, how did that happen? Given that we're in the desert, it just seems so weird. Good God. I'm just going out there executing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you monsters. We need a better gate. We need a better gate. It's ridiculous. Why can I not build a gigantic metal gate? Or like a giant bone? Bone or red wood? We don't even have red wood. Oh, God. Uh, I guess we'll just throw down a couple of prison gates, right? Max hit points. We'll make it out of plasteel. 700 for 40 plasteel apiece. Uh, it's got to be done. There you go. It's not really very on brand. It doesn't really make much sense for a, uh, you know, more technologically um, primitive settlement. Pharaohs are supposed to be guarding the technology. Meanwhile, we're building solid plasteel prison gates because nothing else stops them. And I mean, maybe Jerry was onto something when he restricted the side powers of the people to stop them, to stop them overthrowing him, to stop them realizing that, you know, maybe if they did find out that he was a con man, that would stop them overthrowing him. But at this point, Steroid is as much in on the con as they are. And you can't deny it worked out perfectly. That one side power, I don't know who it was. One of our lightning characters, they they single-handedly saved the colony there. It might have been one of the one of the magic triplets. Oh, it was Regina. Holy crap. What else can you do, Regina? Thunderbolt. Someone's bought lightning strike a target. Oh god. <laughs> can I uh ask him for a friend? Can I also cast that? Can't find out until she gets back up, but I'll, I'll just presume we can. Oh, God. We've gone from not being able to deal with groups of 60 to wiping them out without, uh, with, with on, honestly, a mo monumental fuck ups included. We are, we're still wiping them out. I think the biggest killer now is just going to be killing our own people with side powers, but that's part, of the, that's part of the deal. That's part of the deal. I think any good Jer Egyptian would rather die in defense of their city to the powers of the gods than. You know, getting clubbed over the head by some random guy. Well, it's not masterwork, and it's certainly not legendary. Good! Good! What the hell do I pay you for with your 20.99 crafting? Good. What a moron. Uh, well, let's enchant the quality, see what happens. It goes to excellent. We have another Technomancer that could try and do that. Well, you could do it again. Ah, oh, okay, we can only take it up to excellent. That makes sense. I, I thought that might be the case. Title the dinosaur? What the- what, what, how do you even know what a dinosaur is? Vanilla expanded our college isn't out yet. Oh yeah, today's episode will just be a Temate episode. We'll just do a whole episode based on the robot guy to finally give him some personality given that he's been overshadowed and then he spent 90% of the episode in freaking bed. Is this, is this not right? Is Neurohit isn't dropping because he's a robot? What? One of the pawns you thought dead has returned back to life. Hey? Who was buried there? Wait, did Wes just get back up as a friggin' zombie? Wes. Wes tames the Elder Dragon. Lost up. <laughs> Holy shit. So like I was saying before the, the, the vengeful spirit of Pharaoh, Wes rose again declaring bloody vengeance on the colony. I don't think Tetmate's heat level is going down because he's a robot. Which I think means he's going to be permanently overloaded? <sighs> what, if we, what if we give him... Can we dress him with the Altex gear? We're going to have to get steroids to do it on account of, you know, him being a perfectly normal man after all. But we are... Uh, he, just, he just wants he wants steroid to do it for no reason. Don't ask questions. Dress Tetmate with the Eltex mask. Hopefully that'll be enough. We we had a bunch of Eltex gear, right? That we were making for a pharaoh. We must also have an Eltex shirt somewhere. I think we got it as a quest reward. Where did it go? 
Uh, I'll take shirt. There you go. I don't think he has any natural heat recovery rate on account of being a robot, but hopefully between those two, not only will it raise his heat level, so hopefully it, w it won't count as being overloaded anymore, but it should give him a... It should give him some decreasing, unless you can't remove the heat as a robot. At which point, the only way to make Tet Mate the chronomancer so that I wanted to make was to give him some sort of power where he can... Oh, shit. Is this not going to work? We've been bamboozled. Your heat recovery rate. No, it's there. Multiply from pain 100%. Final value 0 0.62. The base value is 0 0.54, but it's just not dropping at all. Well, maybe when he recovers and he gets back up, it'll start dropping after that. I certainly hope so. Neuroheat's safe? Well, let's see what happens. That's all I can do right now. Oh, right. That's a fair point. We've got 60,000 silver. We might as well spend that on something. We could have steroid. I did bring this up yesterday. We could send steroid out to go and bribe the various people of the different empires. So we've got the Western Republic that might make sense to bring under the... The, the watchful protection of Jure Egypt, because that would link all of this up into the same empire, which would be quite nice. What the hell is that? Covenant of Uno? Or like an Outlander faction? Are you telling me someone's settled from space? Where have they come from? No, 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 no. They're going to uncover the, the whole secret. Maybe they were sent by the Empire to show that... To uncover our, our scam? Okay, well, we're gonna have to go wipe those out. Steroid, pack your things. 14.4 days to recover? No! D that means that there's gonna be generations passing before he comes back. God damn it. God shit damn portal. <laughs> Absolutely ruined all my plans just with one portal. Brilliant. Good about Tetmate then, I suppose. Friendship ended with our robot chronomancer. How you doing, little Adram? 12.5 through intellectual, and if you remember, I set Adram as our only researcher, single handedly bringing about the Industrial Revolution. Parisian medicine is the final one on our list of medieval stuff to get. When that's done, I presume our tech level will increase to industrial, right? A pure curiosity with the whole Wes thing. If I go to your social tab, Grandfather Wes, join the Eastern Republic. Did he now? <laughs> You're telling me the Eastern Republic took a zombie on as a as a member of their of their people, huh? That's really really bizarre. I thought it'd probably be best if Pharaoh Steroid did a little recon into these these more technologically advanced people. We can't send anyone else. Otherwise, they'll know that there is technology out there and maybe they'll start to realize Jerry was a big stinky liar. Jesus. Um, wow, look at this base. This is from the New Vanilla Expanded mod. Wowee, oh God. Yeah, no, you can't take that out. I like the, they got like a steampunk theme to them. Look at that. Yeah, no, this is a little bit too much. Even though steroids armor is better than cataphract's armor, this is nuts. Holy crap. Full-on power armor, uh, uh, rifle-wielding settlers. Here's, here's the plan, Starrett. You're going to get back on the ship. Maybe we'll just send one of the factions to quietly deal with it. Really, all we can send is, is Steroid and Tet Mate, right? Because they're the only ones who know about technology. That's too much. That's too much for two people to deal with. We're just going to say uh, capture settlement use, using Waset. I think that's a good idea. I'm starting to think maybe I should have given Wasset some better weapons before I sent them to get <laughs> horribly murdered. Never mind. There you go. You're going to sell them an upgrade. You'll be fine. I feel like it's not a bad idea to sink all of this cash that we've made immediately back into the Empire, right? That's, that seems like a pretty nice plan. There you go. That's all the settlements being upgraded. What are we going to do about that? They are a threat to steroids rule. I mean, they're not going to blame steroid for it now. If people like that have turned up when Jerry was here, right, it could be a different kettle of fish. The only secret steroids really holding from them is, well, is like Jerry's origins, sure. But that's Jerry's fault. He's, he's probably Tet Mate at this point. It's supposed to be a, a fun episode about making the robot a chronomancer has ended up being charging towards the industrial revolution at ridiculous speeds because of this big brain child. The ghost of Pharaoh Wes getting up and walking away, apparently being taken in by one of our allies. Maybe they're going to try and overthrow us and take the Empire for themselves. 
Who knows? Now we've got out of town Outlanders who we're never going to be able to compete with. I mean, if they turn up with assault rifles, it doesn't matter if we've got plastic armor or not, right? We're not going to be able to punch through marine armor with ballistas. He lost his given birth. There we go. Now, if only the old people would die off faster. Lubov blood fang magic. 17 animals. <laughs> 17 double passion. Bruh. I mean, firstly, why the hell could that not have been a more useful skill? Oh, let me fix the let me fix the heads. I mean, firstly, why could that have not been a more useful skill? That is nuts. Eccentric. Research speed. Okay, so same as uh Adram, right? Straight and snob. Good god. Um That's really useless, because I don't have any need for animal skill right now. You can look after the bees. <laughs> Congratulations. He's done it. He's actually done it. The mad child has taken us to the industrial era. It's just insane. What, like 8,250 research done by a single 16-year-old? Uh, Granted, he started when he was like 12, so that... <laughs> Four years makes it a bit more impressive for a single bit of research. I guess it's not really fair to say we're in the industrial era yet. All we've done is finish the final... Medieval era technology, right? So even with a piano or a power cycle or whatever else, we're, we're not going to be truly industrial Well ever we're hard locked to Neolithic because I mean we are Neolithic look at this base Look at our look at our people and our and our tech you could argue I suppose we're, we're medieval to some extent, but we're always going to be Neolithic That's going to be what we're hard locked to which is why some of these researches now are so expensive even if we go for drug production I mean, it's not a powered research though. Is it, it just gives us a, a oh shit well, that was unexpected. That deals with the, uh, the outside settler problem. Could you imagine that they land on this planet to set up some sort of imperial trade route or something like that, introduce technology to the people, bring them into the empire, and then some mad nut jobs worshipping the pharaoh turn up and wipe your base out. Incredible. Due to the previous faction's tech level, the starting settlement is two. Oh, that's good. Holy shit, so that actually had an impact. Um, huh, well, there you are. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there, it's me from the future. Well, I mean, it's still the past for, for you. That would be very existentially straining otherwise. I've got, I'm gonna be honest, I just slept for like a whole day. Uh, I, I went to sleep on Monday, it's now Wednesday. I don't know what the hell happened. I just lost a giant chunk of my life. I've watched back the first part of this video and you can tell I was running on empty because Jesus Christ, nothing I said made any sense at all. Of course, I'm gonna edit all that else so you'll, you'll never know. But now we gotta carry on. You gotta, <laughs> gotta carry on as if nothing happened. Shit, what did happen? Man, so even after uh, upgrading all of those settlements, we've got 44,414 silver left. Good god. I mean, that perk that we. Let's go back over the perks, because I've completely forgotten what we've got. Ream. So we've got. Oh dear. Oh, that's not right at all. <laughs> uh, we've got a combo of. So that one makes husbands and wives at 100 always. That one gives the plus three mood. Mental break threshold decreased by 10%. To be fair, I haven't seen any mental breaks recently at all. We've got uh, positive moods lasting 20% longer. We need to do more rituals. Um, our song of Vita Brevis. Sculptures and art pieces multiplied by 1.25. I wonder if that affects the, uh, the meditation. That'd be interesting. And then we've got, of course, the massive amount of silver coming in. I feel like we should start work on the next one. Because the benefits from this, is I, they are just gigantic, aren't they? Let's have a look at the Western Republic first. This one makes negative mood thoughts last 10% shorter. Okay, that's really, really good. Pain threshold increased by 10%. Dangerous, but fine. Weapons receive 5% price improvement. Still, I, I mean, honestly, that's absolutely awful because weapons, when you're selling them uh, in the base game, have that 50% reduction anyway because you're, you know, you can get them from enemies. They're not affected by being tainted or anything like that. Colonists has drafted mental breaks. Cannot happen. Whoa, but that more than makes up for it. How often have we had a raid where someone has broken down and pissed off midway through? Good God. Mood thoughts for losing colonists, family members, etc. are halved. That's also pretty massive when everyone is related. And then we get... Every time a raid occurs, there's a 25% chance for a reinforcement legion to show up. I think let's take this 44,000 silver. This was going to be my point. Let's send over our best social character. Not because it has any impact, mainly just because of the... Uh, 
<laughs> Mainly just for the for the storytelling aspect of it. Sanity lost. Really, you're already our best warden. 14. I mean, this would this is a, a great test of your, your abilities and skills that you picked up. Maybe, here's an idea. If we're sending an ambassador, if we're sending a diplomat, we should probably also send them wearing fucking clothes. Because we still don't have enough plastic for the general military. To be fair, we do have a lot of general military people. Let's throw on a toga. That way, if they haven't got anything else to wear, they'll at least wear a toga and they'll swap that out for the plastic armor as and when it becomes available. I presume somebody's working on that, right? Brody? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, so we've got that covered. Well, we haven't. That's why everybody is butt naked. By togas, of course, I mean comatic robes. We're much, we're, we're, we're much past that now. Togas with the era of Jerry. They're a Riemann thing. We're, we're comatic here. Perfect, so let's send you out with just about all the silver we could possibly send. Let's give him a free giraffe. <laughs> and a free lion as well. I don't need both of those. Thank you. Let's send them with all the silver. That way we can also pick up some plasteel or whatever else they've got for sale while we're over there. We need more iron. We need more steel. Take a little while to fill up the quadrant. Oh, everybody's on it. Holy crap. Oh, the game's falling apart though. Stay strong. Oh, stay strong for mother. Good lord. I mean, no pressure sanity loss, but you're about to do one of the biggest border expansions this empire has ever seen. They want 25,000 silver for a bribe. I mean, we cannot spend the silver any faster than we already are. All five of the settlements are upgrading, and in that time, we're going to get even more taxes in, right? So we might as well. And I think the first one I'm going to go for is this one here. When a colonist is drafted, mental breaks cannot happen. That is too damn good to ignore. 50,000 silver now. Definitely can't afford that one. But what I will say is, let's just go... Like that. And take all the quests simultaneously. Take my tears back up. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh. Oh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Uh, Nurahi is gone. It's, it's entirely gone. Oh, shit. I guess that shirt and that mask really did pay off. Should we try and start another skip door? <laughs> ah, no, because I, I want him and Steroid to go out there and, and do the quest for the senators. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk knocking him out for another however many days now. What the hell kind of party is this? This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Then we have our new senator. Hello, Tita Bilratran. Wow, you're actually pretty good. Eleven melee single passion, medical seven double passion, academian. What is academian? Medical ten quality twenty percent. We're gonna immediately get you training on medical then. I think that makes perfect sense. Age forty one, pampered princess and legion principe, and a marriage. Hello, it's Sideshow and someone else. Well, it's Sideshow and Steroid, of course. Sideshow will change their last name to King. Oh, that's nice. So what quests have they given us here? We've had Servius and the Ruin. They will give us a slight meditation throne, which I don't really want. A huge hide. Goodwill plus 20. I mean, when we ally with them, what is, what's our goodwill already? Plus 64. I think we'll take the... Uh, the hide and the silver. I think that one works quite well. You want us to hunt a Rathalos. Oh, they're not giving us any choice. They're just like... Gonna give us a soothing orb and the favor. Okay, of Kaecilius. That seems fine. The bandit ruin. For the favor of Brutus Caesar. Honestly, the rain shield belt is massive. Let's take that. And then the final one will give us... Wow, they are giving us some crazy stuff. Legendary Great Bow, which honestly could be better than anything we've crafted. Better than the Arbalus. Stone Skin Gland Power Claw. Ah. Um, we'll take that one. Thank you. Oh, I thought I'd fixed it, but it doesn't work still. Damn it, I feel so bad just getting these senators for free. Maybe that's just how powerful Jury Egypt is. Maybe I'm looking at it all wrong. Here's all I'll say. I'm not that upset about something in the mod pack breaking the medieval overhaul quests and missions right now, because they're going to be pretty important to the next mod pack, depending on if I go through with... with my ridiculous idea or not. Oh, now somebody made a great point in the comments last episode that Luciferium is actually pretty massive in this playthrough because we are... How do I get just the... Yeah, I just want the cup. Uh, Luciferium is pretty massive in this playthrough because Luciferium is effectively going to last 20 times as long because they age 20 times faster, right? You normally have to take it once every five days. But for our people, it's like once every few years or the equivalent of. So it's super, super, super good. Honestly, maybe even a little overpowered. Might be a, might, might be a little bit too much in hindsight. Uh... Who's Dumbo? Once a Kemetic member dies. My god, because they're from another faction. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that before. Right, okay. I, I think I'm okay. And there's a... Tubes Lover has turned up. Okay, sure, you can join us. Why the hell not? I mean, the game's already running at a crawl. Why as well take on a few more people, huh? Age 24. 
big if true. On the senator, Servius Albus was 24. Sorry, it was the other guy was 25. Wow, we have fixed this old ass colony problem, huh? Just took a little focus, dealing with our people. Chemical interest too smart. Okay, not really many skills, but we can train you up. Psychically deaf, misogynist stoner. Good, good, you'll fit right in. We're gonna love this city because everything's made of stone. <laughs> So this must be the hunt, right? Monster sighting, yeah. And then we've got the other three to go. This one might be the most challenging. But given steroid can instantly freeze enemies solid and pretty much immediately kill them, I'm not really that bothered. Hello? There's no monster here at all. There's no monster here. I, I mean, it did say monster sighting. It didn't say there's definitely a monster here. And Ah, oh, shit, I bought the chunks. <laughs> so I had the quadrant move as a caravan rather than... Rather than flying, if you're below mass limit, you can do that. And it seems to have instantly refueled it. Which I didn't mean to do and certainly wasn't done on purpose. But, I mean, that's pretty helpful, huh? <laughs> Reality is falling apart. So, Celia Savanda is 27. This is actually amazing. This is so good. What's not so amazing is this work tab that I now have to try and, try and juggle. You know what? I'm just going to give everybody some sort of generic... <laughs> work order for now and we'll worry about it when we get back. Hello! Oh, there's nothing here again. What a, what a shocker. <laughs> Something to do with base generation just isn't working. This might be my favorite score we've ever had. Steroid Tepmate and glasses. It, it's like Wes's legacy of just these incredible fighters. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so sad when Steroid, uh, sorry, Glasses finally dies. How old is Glasses? 77. And Glasses was that godly buff child. Holy crap. And another senator. How old are you, senator? You are 18. Very neurotic, insomniac, ascetic. Some really, really good skills there, too. Oh, God, look at the amount of people we've got. Oh. This squad is far too cool to use doors. No, I'm sorry. We're a post-door society now. Oh, Christ. The one time we did use a door, they're a bloody insect. Oh, you're so screwed. <laughs> oh, you are so done for. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is... These, these are really challenging, aren't they? These adventures. Good God. Is this not a quest? Was this just an ancient ruin I went to for a, for a laugh? Where's the other quest? Oh. Oh, we've got them all. That was it. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I accidentally took over half the planet and didn't even realize... That is incredible. What a great day. And there we have it. Half the planet conquered in five short trips. Well, four short trips because we bribed one of them. And even then, I wouldn't describe them trips. We basically just sat the ship down at four different places and moved on with our lives. Now we have a bigger problem. Look at the population. And everything was falling apart as it was with the people that we've got. And now we've got 31 people. Good God. I have an idea. Okay, I have two ideas. Let me run it past you, and I'll I'll pick whatever uh, has the most interest in the comments. A, the more logical and the more cold solution would be when people hit the age of say 65 or 70, we have an execution for them, like uh like uh the ritual where they'll just kill themselves on Jerry Egyptian soil and they get a full funeral with honors because they know you know they're a little bit too old to work and fight and reality is falling apart. Or B, we make a retirement home out in the world. We just send a caravan out and we build an outpost and we set a retirement home up like here. Luxury retirement home and they live happily ever after. I'm I'm up for either idea. I think one is significantly more brutal than the other. But I might I think it's fair to say we've got a cold, brutal pharaoh potentially coming up. Adram King, the industrious look, I mean Brody is fucking 99. Brody is 99. How are you still alive? We have the industrious Adram coming up next. Maybe he would take a cold approach to this. Because it's a drain on colony resources to have uh, everybody up to DQ over the age of, of 70 or 65 or whatever the hell that was. It's just too much. It's too many people and not enough jobs. I mean, there are barely any jobs to do. This place is a, a paradise. We're effectively turning what should be a mighty city into a retirement home anyway. So let me know. Honestly, I think the, ex uh, the, the the ritual, I think it might be a bit more honorable. 
but I also get that they might want to go to a retirement home instead. But tell me what you think, and we'll try and deal with this aging population one way or another. It is a side effect, of course, of, of having smart aging, but Babies and Children has an accelerated growth factor for the younger characters, which is useful because it means we don't have a colony of tiny, worthless children contributing to both the raid score, but not being able to contribute to fighting off that very same raid. However, it does mean that they accelerate fast, they get up to the age of adult, but then the adult's age at the regular age, then we end up with a bunch of old ass people who don't die fast enough, in my opinion. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'll tell you what I think. I think this episode is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit, and I've got to really try and uh, scrape the bottom of the barrel with this one. My god. Thank you to Brambio, Choppy to Bear, Buen Gun, Master of Worlds 22, Vocarian, David Turner, Jacob w w one u Teb Funk, or Kansas. Chaga Gasky, Mask of Loki, Super Awesome Goku, Bug551, Jack Barber, Sign Mortar, Bellman, The Cat Lover, 366, Dranmere, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Critical Hat, and Jasmine K as well for their support. The executive produced tears over on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Thank you for being here with me for better or for worse. I'm, I'm hoping I can speed things up soon because I'll be honest, I hate and I hate to say it and I hate it when this happens. It's on its last legs. We're running at like 100 TPS now. And having 31 colonists surely isn't helping. <laughs> I will do what I can to save it. But honestly, I'm, I'm, I kind of like the idea. And I've been thinking of the idea of just letting it carry on. You know, saving it as it is. Giving other people the save and letting people play around with, with Jerry Egypt. No great massive ending. No big world conquest or anything like that. Just, just letting it carry on, you know. Uh, I've never done anything like that before, so I, I might go with that idea. Anyway, thank you as well to the Gentleman Ghost Renault, Florian Obendorfer, Kiora Dadus, Azulu Zorro, Douglas Finney, Alex Wareham, Snail Tan, Told Waldo, Solzalor, Frobear, Dan Does a Thing, Sleepless, A Real Good Boy, Kek Solly, Bobby Pants, Cobalt Toothpick, Dark Misery, Mystic 370, Maz Dingo, Duke, Captain Cuba, Shane Connolly, and Alexander H as well. See you all tomorrow, I hope. Maybe I'll fall asleep again for an entire day. Who knows?